This is a jumping spider, specifically the species Phlegra hensi. Looking at this little guy shows all of the distinctive traits of jumping spiders that you might know. Huge eyes, a fluffy and blocky body with short legs, and of course, being tiny in size. But what if I told you there was a jumping spider many times smaller than this one? So tiny, you can't even see these traits with your eyes alone. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Our target spiders today are almost undetectably tiny, and might just be living in the soil and leaf litter you walk on every day. Meet the jumping spiders of the genus Neonella. These tiny jumping spiders take the usually tiny size of jumping spiders to the next level, and as you might expect, can be pretty hard to find. That's why we have this special contraption with us today, a leaf litter sifter. Putting leaf litter from the ground of this pine scrub habitat in the sifter leads to small animals falling to the bottom. And it didn't take long for some of these neonella to fall into the sifter. Let's take a look. This might just be the tiniest jumping spider in the world and definitely the smallest I've ever seen. This species right here is in the genus Neonella, a genus of jumping spiders containing some absolutely tiny ones just like this one, which I believe to be the species Neonella venula, one of only two species from this genus known from the United States. The females are less than two millimeters long and the males are just barely a millimeter, maybe a little more. The females of this species are mostly yellow with black stripes on the epistosoma, or that abdomen. And males of this species are a bit on the paler side with more of a dark mask around the face and pale colored pedipalps, or those two leg-like appendages close to the mouth that spiders use to guide food into their mouths. Now, while these might be absolutely tiny, tinier than by far any other jumping spider I've ever seen. They are still just as interactive and behave almost like little tiny cats on your hand. These little guys, despite being smaller than most ants, still have those distinctive huge middle eyes, those anterior median eyes on their face that are absolutely massive compared to the rest of their eyes. For this spider's this tiny size, it has great vision for an animal this small, knowing exactly where on my hand is the best place to jump onto next. If I put my finger right in front of it, it will jump straight from one finger to the other, using the amazing vision of those front eyes to be able to tell distance unusually well for an animal this small in size. Now, jumping spiders are carnivorous and are mildly venomous, but something this tiny is not gonna be able to take down what most jumping spiders would be eating. This species, Neonella venula, is found almost entirely in leaf litter. And here in Florida, they're known to occur in the leaf litter in these kind of scrubby environments with short oak trees, pine trees, and a lot of sandy ground cover. Now, a lot of other things that live in this leaf litter are also very tiny. Things like springtails, mites, even smaller tiny spiders, ants, and a whole world of microorganisms that could be found right beneath our feet. And these tiny little jumping spiders serve as an amazing predator in these ecosystems. Just think, at this tiny size, this leaf litter is extremely rough terrain. And these tiny little jumping spiders use their incredible vision to perfectly navigate the leaves and dirt underneath the ground in these environments, where they do a pretty good job at hunting for prey over here. Now I actually have quite an interesting story of how I first noticed these jumping spiders. I bring this leaf litter sifting equipment almost everywhere I go because I'm always on the lookout for ants. And every time I'm out in these pine flatwood and scrub environments with lots of pine litter on the ground, I find these tiny little neonella. But for the longest time, I had no clue that these were actually full grown adults of this species. I had assumed they were the nymphs of some very common jumping spiders that I see around here. And it wasn't until I took a really close look at one that I realized it was an adult of this almost never seen species. That's right, even though this neonella is super common, if you know how to look for them, they are incredibly hard to find and even more difficult to spot once you've found them because of just how tiny they are and the fact that they're basically the exact same color as pine leaf litter. And when they're crawling around, they just look like a tiny little speck and it isn't until you look really close that you get to see just how absolutely adorable and insanely beautiful this species is. Even for its incredibly small size, Neonella venula retains basically all of those traits that most people love about jumping spiders. Their large eyes, their fluffy appearance, short stubby legs, compact body, but just at a significantly smaller scale than people are used to. And because these are easily passable as a small mite or an ant, almost no one has ever seen this incredible species right here. 
I can't even comprehend that this is a full grown adult. The male I ended up finding in this same leaf litter is even smaller, but he wasn't willing to walk on my hand like this female is right here. What a beautiful animal. I think this is the perfect time to release these amazing Neonella vinula right back into the pine litter where we found them, but wow, such a special animal. This is exactly why I like to say that my goal is to show just how little we know about what goes on around us every day. Because most of us have walked right past pine trees, but never really stopped to think that maybe, potentially, the world's smallest jumping spider is hiding in the dead leaves right underneath them. What an incredible animal.